Adam, what the f What's up guys, Nick's Toys here, back with another action figure review. I know it's been a while, but today we're going to be doing a review on the Marvel Legends Avengers Infinity War Wave 2 Black Widow figure. Let's get started. to take just a quick look at the figure itself as you can see this is based off how scarlett johansson or black widow looks in avengers infinity war for the most part it's a new sculpt i compared it to the previous black widow which i'll show later on in the review but for the most part it is a completely new sculpt and i think the detailing the little detailing on the arms and the wrists on the actual figure itself is pretty good hasbro did a great job and then looking at the head sculpt, I think the head sculpt is probably the highlight of this figure. For the most part, it looks like Scarlett Johansson. And I really like what they did with the hair. It's hard to tell here in the video, but in person you can tell that there is a bit of shading in the hair. And I just think how it's funny how they're doing a good job with the female figures with the face printing. But for the males, I don't know what they're doing, as you can see here with Captain America. Didn't really translate well with Chris Evans, but here on the Scarlett Johansson, Johansson figure, it came out pretty good. Okay guys, now we're going to compare the Avengers Infinity War Wave Black Widow to the Winter Soldier figure. And because that's pretty much the only other rendition of Black Widow in the MCU that we got besides the Age of Ultron one, which I do not currently have. But I do believe that this Avengers Infinity War one is a much improvement over the Winter Soldier slash Age of Ultron Black Widow. They did make the feet a little bigger, so it's easier for her to stand up. And just looking at them, I do like the look more of the Avengers one. But later on in the review, I'll show you that you could remove the vest and you could pretty much have a classic looking Black Widow. Alright guys, now to go over Black Widow's accessories, she does come with an alternate pair of fists, these other things I have no idea what they are, and her baton slash staff. And for the fists, it's pretty easy to switch out, you just have to unpeg the previous one and then peg back in the fists. And they look pretty nice, pretty good sculpt, I mean it's just a basic fist, you could probably use them on other Marvel Legend female figures. And then as far as these things, I'm not too sure what they are. I don't even remember her using them in the movie. But you can store them on her sides there. It's the only weapon storage, which sucks. I wish you could store her staff slash baton things. And they do stick in there pretty well. If you, As you can see, I shake the figure and they don't fall out. And as far as these batons, you can stick them together, like I said, to form the staff. The plastic on it is very rubbery. And I don't really like these, so if you guys do happen to find the basic Black Widow figure, as I show here, this ugly ass Black Widow figure, she does come with smaller batons, which I think scale better with the figure. As you can see here, they do look pretty nice, and they do function the same, and you could create that longer staff. I just feel like these scale better with this Black Widow figure, as you can see here. I believe it's a bit more movie accurate, I'm not too sure, but they do look nice. I mean, all the silver paint and all the detail is there, so if you do want to spend, drop about eight bucks for that basic Black Widow figure just for these batons, I suggest you do it because I think they look better. As you can see, it's much smaller. And then like I said earlier, you can remove the vest. All you have to do is remove the head, unpeg the side there, and then just slide it over her neck. Pretty easy to do. And then as you can see there, it's just her, just a classic looking Black Widow. You could just swap on the head. Unfortunately, I don't do it here, but you, the head from the Winter Soldier Black Widow, it does not fit on. It looks kind of goofy, so. But that's pretty much it for her accessories. Okay guys, now going over Black Widow's articulation. She does have pretty decent articulation for a female figure. Her head could look up. She could also look down, turn side to side, and there's a bit of a neck pivot. Her arms go up that high to the side, also do a full 360, elbow swivel, also a single jointed elbow. She has a wrist swivel and a wrist hinge. For her torso articulation, she has an upper diaphragm joint, so she can move around like that. 
she can't really bend forward and she can't or she bends back a bit she does the splits out this much she could also kick forward this high and she can't really kick back at all which sucks she has a upper thigh swivel which is a bit hindered by the holster there on the side as you can see she has double jointed knees she also has ankle pivot and her feet can bend forward and backward Now for some size comparisons, here's Black Widow with the Captain America from the first wave and also Falcon from Civil War. Here she is next to the Okoye Baff and the Scarlet Witch from the Vision 2 pack. Here she is with Thor from the 3 pack and also Black Panther. Now here she is with Doctor Strange and Spider-Man figure arts. Here she is with Thanos and Proxima Midnight from Wave 1. And lastly, here she is next to a bunch of Scourge figures. Alright guys, that's going to be it for the review. Overall, I really enjoy this figure. It's a very nice figure. Articulation is pretty good. The sculpt is pretty good. And especially the head sculpt. I think they did a great job on the head sculpt. And yeah, guys, that's going to be it. Make sure you guys check me out on Instagram at Nick's underscore toys. Check out the podcast here whenever we upload it. Also, check out the RLU, a bunch of great other podcasts, such as Jaime's new podcast, Figs and Flicks, where they talk about movies and figures, obviously. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it. Make sure you guys check out Articulated Comic Book Art. Link will be in the description. And thanks for watching. See you guys in our next video.